Okay. Have you ever followed a reality show really closely? Like I never really got into them. Like how closely? Like 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 obviously yeah. we watch um, thirty days, sixty days in, you know, and I watch every episode, but I don't really get into their social media and care Survivor. what they're like. I, do I don't like care it. what they're like in the real world, like their social media and shit like that. Like I've never I've never cared enough. I yeah. guess. Dude, speaking of reality shows, uh, Fish Tank season two is back on right now. The, it's on the now. Sam, yeah, the Sam Hyde Jet Neptune project, where uh, they bring a bunch of people in Big Brother style. It's basically Big Brother, but with a bunch of really brutal sound effects and TTSs being fired off in there. And they like, from what I've watched so far, like it's twenty four seven. So you can't really like, unless you're sitting there all fucking day, you can't really keep up. So thankfully, there's like. Season one, there weren't as many like compilation Twitter accounts and whatnot, but now it's like you can follow. I followed a few people who like will be like, here's a clip of Summer fighting with JT over this at 11.57 p.m. It's like, all right, I can kind of catch up. They like the set is incredible. They did a great job like doing up the whole house 70s style instead Mm. of Jason Goldstriker you know, Sam Hyde's character. Now he's judge Jebediah gold striker and he fades in and out of a really rough uh, Western accent, almost like he's not even trying, which is, I am assume part of the joke, but he's still doing the same thing of breaking things around them. He's wearing, he's already like six, five and he's wearing cowboy boots. Just enormous around all these people though. I saw a couple clips of like the girls on the show being like, I'm so scared of the judge. <laughs> they call him the judge now. <laughs> they're like, what do you think he's going to do? And they're like, I don't know. But he came in and he just started talking to me and then kicked a dresser to smithereens. Oh, yeah, like, like this is one of the rooms. What? Like They have like a 70s style are. room. They put them all in 70s style clothes. There's a Japanese guy who really has a tenuous grasp of English conversationally. And so like something will happen and he'll be like, I did not only understood a ten percent that conversation, and <laughs> and that guy's been hilarious. They they really upped the like I thought the season one participants were pretty loony, pretty loopy, but uh, yeah. they've upped it a bit to where it's only like four days in. You and you one told of the me girls the girl in particular is absolutely falling apart. He had them do a a beginner's. He brought in a a martial arts instructor and had them Did do you say like one of a, the girls is falling apart. One, one of the girls, yeah, yeah, summer. She's falling apart, and uh, I don't remember what day it was, but I saw the clips. He had a a beginner karate class for all these people. Put them all in geese and everything. And after like however long of a beginner, she's karate Asian, class, right? No, she's white. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's only there's two. There's okay. an Asian girl and an Asian guy from Japan. But this girl, okay. the one that's losing her shit, is white. And after like half an hour yeah there's there's the fish frank Why I guess, they look like missing persons <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they are now frank didn't show up so there's a different guy there now uh the black guy there frank he's not a part of it but yeah the one summer if you bring that back up number five she's the one who at the like maybe 25 minutes into karate class like started having a histrionic panic attack and was like vomiting and like okay. throwing up and so like Seemingly, every time she does even a little bit of exercise, she vomits or she just gets so stressed <laughs> out, she vomits. And people are rapidly becoming sick of her shit. Oh, really? Rapidly. She's yeah. becoming my what? favorite. She's like, it's like having a fainting goat on the show. Like, yes. I would try to, you know, like, oh, yeah. when she's well, it's one out, of those she throws things. up. Yeah. Wait till we get to the eating contest. <laughs> Dude, she, she, like, there was a great clip of Sam dressed like, pull up a picture of how Sam is dressed like a, he's dressed like Woody from Toy Story in three inch lifts. And saw that. this girl was vomiting in the fucking bathroom. And Sam's like, Oh, you okay? She's like, I threw up. And he's like laughing, like, that's insane. Meet me <laughs> in bedroom one. And so then he goes into bedroom one and hides in the closet. And so she comes in and he just, bursts out like are you doing okay like i just <laughs> trying to scare her a little bit more very funny very funny <laughs> stuff i'm enjoying it where uh, is fish there tank indication? dot live is where you go you got to make a little account and then you can you can watch it is there any yeah. indication on where they're filming or like what kind of house they're in i don't know where they're filming but the house itself uh is really like the set's really fucking nice try and find a real picture of him not the cartoon one but um yeah, the set itself is really nice. They clearly put a lot more effort into it. They have like a little little garden oh area. God. Yeah, and he's just 
He's just doing what he does, which is barreling around, scaring the shit out of these people. And it's really, really entertaining. So I'm two thumbs up so far from what I've seen of Fish Tank season two. If you're looking for a good little thing to to follow along with, making them do activities that are meaningless, making them work out, making them have fashion shows, like lying and being like, one of you is an infiltrator. Find the infiltrator. Mm-hmm. And, oh, no infiltrator. <laughs> and I don't think, I don't know if there's an infiltrator <laughs> or not, but he keeps like confusing them that way. Uh, I, it's it's I, really I, fucking funny. When he was on, I was saying like, I would want to do this in Texas, like in a, in a remote area. Mm. And I would buy like, three or four single wide trailers for cheap and have them taken out there and connect them together into some sort of pod. Or maybe like, imagine if you took four single wide trailers and put them end to end. So you have a mega long trailer and it's like that movie snow piercer. The very back is the worst. And you've <laughs> got to like earn your way forward. And each room is like another challenge and you have to live in those rooms that all right, you're living in the gold room. Now There's no food in here, no food in here at all. Like, that'd be a good idea i but they i like what he's quickly. done i i hope he's weeks. making i hope it makes enough money that he just keeps doing these and they get more and more elaborate that's the beauty of mr yeah. beast is he's every time you're you're able to do th- millions of dollars in production value um and apparently save africa build them wells and shit uh mm. just just wild shit like that so i hope that he uses a similar tactic to just build scarier and oh, more yeah. weird and bizarre the, environments. The the chat itself is like probably the funniest part of it. Like the text to speeches are great. They do a good job monitoring that to like make it fun, but also not like discourage people too much. Cause if you just let it go unfettered, it wouldn't be that fun. You just have people getting roasted. But there was this one like there's this fat girl on there. And she wasn't doing anything. People, uh, the whole chat was like, oh, this fucking bitch, she's just boring as hell, just sitting in a room, she doesn't do anything. And I think one of the 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 producers was like, you got to start doing something. You got to start doing something and, and keep people entertained. You see everybody else is gaining little fan groups. You don't have one yet. And so she like went up into some bedroom and like just pissed in a cup. And then is like, now she's like leaving piss cups around the house and she's this like fat frumpy girl. And so like now there's discussions where like her piss cup will be found. And like, the, like one of the detective Cole, this guy who's like clearly a little bit autistic and likes investigating things. They'll be like, Cole, we need you on the piss cup case. And he'll be like in front of the, the pissing fat girl. And not one person has accused the fat frumpy girl of pissing in the cup so far. So she's just, she's creating mayhem. She's yeah, just great. by just by. I, I think Megan's great now. She's so now funny. She has a fan now base, she's right? now she's pissing in cups and like she's talking to the camera. She's like, I want to throw the piss on this guy's stuff, but he sleeps right next to his stuff, so I don't know when I could get over there to throw the piss on it. And immediately the chat is like, piss queen, our piss queen, <laughs> just being like content. This is great. It's, it's so fucking funny. So now the piss queen is out and she's she's found her little niche, hopefully gonna gonna piss on more things, upset people. The one girl keeps vomiting. The Asian guy is just coming out with great stories where he has the thickest Japanese accent. He'll be like See when I oh, saw when I live in Japan, I work and now I go to school in America. Uh I uh briefly in briefly in Japan I work as uh ingri- uh prostitute. Oh shit. And so <laughs> I was a prostitute in uh, Japan. And they're like, were you a top or a buy? He's like, uh for women. Women only mm. only do women. <laughs> So oh, okay. He's, so All he's right. a, a Japanese porn star, I guess. Who knows? You know, hmm. I, I imagine those will crop up eventually. These these See, viewers I, are very very. The astute. first still image I saw was the Japanese girl wearing a gi, and I was like. I thought he had come up with racist outfits for them all. And there was going to be a Mexican guy as like a field laborer or something. And like, I thought that was going to be the bit, but then I dug <laughs> deeper and saw they were doing karate training or something. And I, <laughs> hmm. I still like my idea better, but, but yeah. I love what he's doing in general. It, no, he's, honestly, he's bullied the Asian girl a good bit and she's taken it well so far. Like he uh, went in to tell a story to all the fish, like at their little fish bar where they were drinking and whatnot. And, she just asked like some semi innocent question early in the story. And he was like, get the fuck out of here. 
get the fuck out of here. They're like the whole gaggles around and he's like, get out of here. And she like backs up a bit and he's like, no, in the other room. I don't want you in here. I'm not going to tell this story if you're in here. And then what? you can just you can just click to the other camera and it's just some Asian girl sitting there by herself in the mm, other room fuck. and telling story. It's it's really is there any funny. interactivity? Because my favorite thing Ice Poseidon Jamal. ever did was he had that robot that the viewers could pay to control and <laughs> it had steak knives attached to it, like the ones you would cut up your steak, not yeah. the ones you'd like cut a roast with. And uh, and you could poke people with it superficially, of course, and you could also like get it under girl skirts to do, like potentially do an up, up skirt, Ooh. which they can't. And so I think that robot made a ton of money. Yeah, they don't have any robots, but you can obviously do the text to speech. Uh, you can play sound effects. Uh, they're playing the vomit sound effect a lot for that vomit girl trying to coax her yeah, into of it. Of course, of but course. I think uh, the the mass shooting sound effect might be the one that makes me laugh the most because it's just like blood curdling screams and like bullets the whole time. <laughs> there's like bullet sounds and all that and it goes on for like a minute and it's very up upsetting to the fish clearly and so it's I, like four days in they're going to continue fish. to lose their mind they're going to lose uh a yeah, little bit i mean it's like psychological like they're they're pulling psych shit on them where it's like deprive them of sleep keep them inside like behave as the you know like sam is behaving like erratically <laughs> where he'll come in sometimes and like on a on a mission and then other times be like oh no you guys are doing great you're doing great and and you can see the girls in the show who don't have like father figures kind of kind of buddying up to him almost like i want to make judge proud of my performance on the show it's very very funny so i uh fish tank season two fish tank.live check that out it's it's entertaining <laughs>